This is our second movie talking about the basic suspension analyzer. And we're going to hit some other features here. Um, things like edit. Edit's a real handy way of moving lots of points at one time. You got a lot of measurements down in here. And let's say that um, you don't have a, you got a streetcar. A streetcar, the uh, left and right side are the same. They're not different from each other like on a circle track car. They're called more of a symmetric chassis. And it says here, do you want to copy all, have all the left side specs copied to the right side? And you say yes. And you can see now it's a, we got a symmetric chassis. The left and the right side are the same. You could have added, done it the other way, copy the right to the left. You could have swapped them. This is real. Um, there's other things in here like move groups of measurements. Like you say, I want to move uh, the left side only. I want to move all points. Let's say you made a mistake. Just warning us that uh, if you make this change, it's going to change a lot of things at one time. But you can move all points up, down, in, out, back, toward the rear. Um, another thing here, let's say you didn't know what the Z measurement meant front to back. You could just flip it and uh, all your negative numbers now become positive in the Z direction. Convert to metric in English. Uh, some of the metric stuff um, I believe is only in the full vehicle version, but I could be wrong on that. And this import, um, this is for the full vehicle data logger data. This is some special like uh, stuff that the Bush and Winston Cup teams will use and Excel Cup teams will use for importing data from a file in a particular format. Um, let's see here. Zoom is a nice feature. If you want to look at what's going on right here, I can't really see what's going on. What you do is you zoom in and move things around. Or you can slide these slide bars around. And you can look at the drawing in a lot more detail. And then zoom off, turns the whole thing off, returns it back to where you were. Um, another thing that's kind of useful here is anytime you click on one of these mm -hmm. things over here, these uh, parameters, a little definition pops up of what it is and a uh, page number in the book for more, uh, more information or explanation on that mm -hmm. roll center height. That's pretty handy. Um, here we have vehicle specs. This is pretty important. In the basic version, this would be called other measurements, but in the full vehicle, we call it vehicle specs. And like this thing is pointing out, we have these help tips in our programs here that give what we think are pretty important tips for understanding how the program works. And you can see here, a critical setting in this full vehicle version, which we don't have, but it is a suspension to analyze. But these tips are very handy. And let's say you read this and you don't want to see it again. What you would do then is just click on don't show this again, and you'll never have to see it again next time you run the program. But in here are things like um, wheelbase, height of the center of gravity, your corner weights. And in the basic version, in the basic, you would not see this rear suspension thing, but in the basic version, you got what kind of suspension you're working with. This is pretty critical. McPherson strut versus double A arm, there's a big difference there on what it's going to ask for inputs. What kind of steering do you have? Steering box or rack and pinion? Uh, steering box would be with a drag link and stuff. What are the springs like? And you see these bell cranks in here. In the basic version, you wouldn't see bell cranks. And do you have a roll bar? Stuff like that. And the suspension travel stuff. That's, some of the stuff I don't believe is in the basic. But here's your ride height measurements also. That's mostly for information. And can be, we also use some of this in our, uh, uh, I believe in the adjust mode. I forget. But we use them also for some calculations. But anyway, front suspension, there's some very critical specs to be set correctly in here. Um, let's see. Printing. An important thing here is your Windows print setup. And if you haven't set this and you got a new, just install the program, you may not get your printouts until you set some of these parameters in here. And you got some other print options here. Backing up and restoring. You can back up all the suspension files with, with one click. And you can restore them one at a time or restore all the backed up files. You want to do this. Um, Open or save to a floppy or a memory stick or a CD. That's a very useful feature. 
Another thing is preferences. Preferences is really useful. If the program is doing something in a way that, boy, I just don't like the way the program is doing something, there's a good chance in preferences that we might be able to do things in a different way. Um, for example, let's say definitions here. Uh, converting um, toe-in from degrees to inches. For any, that to make any sense at all, we got to know how big a tire are you making this assumption for for inches. And there's some different options here. You can click on help and get some explanation what this means. Adding shim moves the frame pivots out or moves them in. Um, so anyway, there's different things here, different conventions that you might be used to something different. Well, maybe the program has a way for you to adjust it so it matches what you're use, used to. A lot of things here, printing and graphing options, your name for appears on printouts and stuff, and some other um, options here. File options, a default um, letter drive for when you're saving to a floppy or a CD or something. Uh, graph colors, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, if you like, if you made some changes, you want to keep them, you click on OK. You don't like them, uh, cancel out of it. These help tips that I showed you about turning them off. You can uh, restart them if you turn some off and you want to turn them all back on again, you can do it right here. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Animate. Animate is something I'll just show you real quick. Uh, in the basic version, what it's going to do is... Uh, You just put in some numbers here, and you'll just, uh, I'll show you in a second, um, roll, we're going to animate, and you can see what's happening here. You can just kind of watch the suspension move, and maybe you'll learn something by that. You can slow this way down if you want. You can single step through this thing. And I went a little too fast, maybe. No, I didn't. Okay. And you can go down in here and watch things move. Let's say camber here. Started out at right at 3.625. Now we're at minus 1 or 1 1.55. And you can just go forward through this, step through this, and you can just see everything change. That's uh, There's a lot more powerful animate features in the upgraded versions also. And... Another thing I'd like to show you here is, let's get Animate off. When you're saving a test, we talked about folders in the previous movie. Um, we give you this default folder called My Test, but let's say you want to be a little more creative. And if you start working with lots of different suspensions, maybe you work with Legends cars and maybe you work with late models. And what would make more sense is we're going to add a new folder. You can see that's the top option in the drop-down. And I want to add a new folder name. And I'm going to type in maybe Joe's Legend Car. Maybe you want a bunch of different iterations or revisions of, of some files under that folder name. Okay. And it's still called My Legends, but now it's in a new folder. And if we click on Open, you see now we got Joe's Legend car down here, My Legends. And let's say we make a revision, change that to 20, and change this to 15. And we're going to save this file, save as. Put too much stuff in there. And now, if we go to open this, you can see in Joe's Legends cars, we've got these two revisions. You see, actually, the roll center is slightly different between the two because I made that change. Or we can look at my test, some of these other things we saved in the first movie. Or we can look at all the tests that we provided with in our examples folder. Now, the program is going to stop you. It doesn't let you save things to the example folders because we want to keep these tests all clean. That way, they're exactly like we originally gave them to you. And if you open a test, let's say the super late model, you open it. And if you go to save something with the super late model, we try. it doesn't even present examples. It won't let you save it to the examples folder. It's a real nice thing. So we know when things are in the examples folder, it is what we expect it to be.
And that concludes this movie.